You know when you have a dinner with chicky nuggies and corn and mashed potatoes? Nom nom. And you mix it all up together? That's what this deck is. It's like a KFC famous bowl. Oh my god, this deck is cracked. <laughs> What's up, nerds? So this deck uses hope for two reasons. It basically makes Kitty Pride free, and Kitty Pride is good with hope. And the second reason is to get out our expensive boys. We have Doom, Vision, and Darkhawk on the top end here. Um, Darkhawk is just good. It's a good card. I, I mean, it didn't really get too hurt by the nerf because um, it's usually like 14, 16 power whenever I play it out. It's pretty big. And then we have Vision, um, which is great because we're playing Elsa Bloodstone and Dr. Doom is just awesome to get out before turn six. Yeah, it's really solid. You have like good tempo. You get power on the board early thanks to Hope Summers and stuff like Angela and Jeff and Nightcrawler. You have a little bit of dis disruption with the rock stuff and Darkhawk. And then uh, we have a solid top end that lets us get across the board if we want or really tall in one lane if we want. It's a, it's a nice little balance. Sort of like the perfect balance between mashed potatoes and corn. I would say the only flexible card here is Iron Lad. I like Iron Lad because everything is copying here except for Kitty Pride is actually super solid hit. But if you wanted to be a friggin nerd and run shang chi like everyone else is running right now you could just do that for iron lad if you don't have iron lad i would suggest that though because every time you play shang chi the person on the other end of the computer is a, they hate you and i hate you a little bit too no i'm just kidding i love you but anyways that's the deck it's game time all right just solid hand really just want like hope or kitty pride they're pretty good to go um, I don't really like that too much. I don't want to play Angela there because basically remove one um, thing, one ching on Angela. So we will play that in the blind location. My opponent snapped. All right, let's see. Okay. This is a Phoenix Fork's Phoenix first deck. Nice snap, dude. Now his deck is legitimately crap. Um, we can play Hope over there, that's fine. Yeah, now he's just gonna have to try to put power on the board with Nimrod, probably. But, um... Whatever. <laughs> That's his only way to win this game now, is with that Nimrod stuff. Um, I think I would rather... Go Rock Slide and Nightcrawler. Um... Because I, I don't want to Iron Lead with Kitty Pride still in the deck. Other than that, all the other Iron Lead hits are totally fine. But yeah, we'll just do this. And we play out Dr. Doom next turn. Okie doke. You're removing your Phoenix Force over there. All right. Hey, yeah. But what? I hope there it is. <laughs> hey, yeah. Okay, we will just um. Let's go. Kind of don't want to play Doctor Doom now. I kind of just want to go. Iron Lad into Kitty Pride. There's no rush on playing Doom right now. Let's just get Angela bigger and bigger. That's fine. Okay. Now we have Vision. I think Vision and Kitty Pride is also a better play. So let's just go Kitty and Division. And then just shift everything else accordingly next turn. Finish with the Doom. What is this guy doing? Is this Zola? Alright. It's, um, it's not very good, sir. He just did all these plays and he's got total of 20 power on the board. All right. Um, 
Darkhawk is a 12 power. So I suppose Dr. Doom is just better. Let's go Doom, move Vision there, move Lad there, play Kitty here. All right. Victory. All right, super solid hand. We have Hope, Angela, and uh, Korg. I guess playing Korg early is better. Uh, I kind of just want to save it um, to play on the Angela and Hope lane. We go Angela, and then we go Hope there. Okay, I'm going to assume this is Hella. Um, so we need to get super tall in two lanes. Yeah, okay, this is Hella. Uh, pretty much can't win the throne room. So what we'll do is play on to Angela repeatedly while keeping one spot open, like with Vision or Nightcrawler or something. And then, uh, yeah, so we can actually, we can go Korg over here, Jeff here, and Nightcrawler there. Played Korg on the right because I don't want to, want to have all the space I can on the Angela lane to go as big as I can over there. Oh yeah, that happens. That sucks. Well, uh, he can't really do this Modox stuff, which is kind of key. Let's just go Vision over there. That's fine. Okay. He might not even have Hella. Yeah, he doesn't have Hella. He has to top deck Hella here. Um. Kind of silly, but I want to do this and this. Oh no! Please don't pull Hala. Rock. That was scary. Okay, um, solid. We have Hope and Kitty and big things to play with it. So yeah, we're good. Nico into a copy spell, huh? Gold on gold. Um, I still think we just go Kitty again. No, you know what? Let's, let's play Jeff. Jeff is fine. Okay, so this is a bounce deck. Uh, no other deck would be running both those cards. Which can be annoying. I think we're okay with just stuffing his hand full of like, kitty prides and stuff. Let's just play Hope over there. I don't want to play it at Legend Glee or, or T4G. Okay, just, I mean, this could get annoying for him too. Just stacking a bunch of Mediocre stuff in his hand. Let's do, um, let's just do these two. Sure. And we can go Vision and Kitty Pride. Okay, now he's got two hopes. I mean, that's fine. Like, it, I guess he can do some absurd stuff, but I feel like his deck can't really use that too well. All right, now we can go... Okay. Let's move Jeff over there. Let's go Elsa here, Kitty here, Korg Nightcrawler. We'll have eight energy next turn, so we can Doom and uh, Kitty, or just Vision and Kitty. Yeah, he, I, I, <laughs> I kind of made it to where you can't really draw a bunch of cards this game, which is kind of good, I think.
Yes. Yeah, <laughs> he drew like two cards this game. I mean, I guess I've been giving him cards, but whatever. Um, okay, we can go. We can go Doom. Nah, I feel like going Vision. Let's go Vision here. Kitty here. And Sentinel here. I just want to win these two. Yeah, I'm, I'm going for the middle and the right. Go. Cool. Yeah, I don't really think, like, our side of the board is too great. I, I think just <laughs> constantly playing in a machine world just really screwed up this guy's game. All right, we have the sickest opening hand. This is, I wish we had this every single game. Watch me lose. Um, yeah, this is super great. I think we just play... Um, we can play everything in the middle. Let's just stuff the middle. I know you can do Angela like on left and right and then play the three drops into Angela and have them pulled to Asteroid, but I have Elsa, so I just want to stack one lane like as fast as possible. Um, yeah, let's go Hope and then we just go Elsa Kitty in the middle. Go, go, go. And then uh, we just throw out the cork now just just to do it. And then next turn, we can play Vision and Kitty. We don't have two extra. We'll have seven. But everything's going to cost one more. Yeah, so we're going to have to play Vision and Kitty. I'm not going to be able to doom. Now, do I want to give the buff to Vision or Kitty? Oh, we have seven. Ooh, dude. All right, fine. Let's go kitty here. And I think we can win Crimson Cosmos like just with an Iron Lad. He's going to have issue like getting into there. I think. Well, it's a big kitty. Ah, I was hoping to hit Rock Slide or Jeff or something, but I mean, that's fine. Um, what? <laughs> okay. I think we just do this and this. I feel like that still wins. This is quite a bit of power in the middle. We're adding 10, we're already up by 5, so he's going to have to play 15 here while floating there. I think we're fine. Well, looks like we're fine. <laughs> GG. Boo. I hate that so much. All right, we definitely just Korg. Um, we can maybe like zero into a wave or something. Okay. Oh no, we can, we still can. <laughs> uh, Angela, okay. Yeah, sure. Angela's definitely better. Let's play Angela in the middle. And then uh, probably just Negasonic on top of it. Or maybe Wave. Wave is kind of cool too. Uh, do we have priority? If I have priority, I'm going to play Detroskillian. No, I'm not. We're going to go Hope Summers. Because I've played Negasonic at Triskillian, um, or giving him the option to buff Angela once and then still play something else there. Um, that's fine. We have, we have vision, so I'm not too, too worried about that. Let's go kitty into wave. That's going to let us, uh, vision and kitty in the same turn. What? Okay. So we have six. Why would you snap on me like that, sir? Let's go. I don't want to go Elsa into Vision. Yeah. Let's do this.
Okay, I think we just win. <laughs> he just locked himself up there. It seems like a bot play. But um, you never know, there's some weirdos, especially when you're not an infinite yet. Um, but yeah, we do this. So three, four, five, six, yeah. So we have to play something at Triskelion, so we'll just play Kitty Pride, and then we play Dark Hawk here, and that's game. <laughs> okay. Right. Hello again. Thanks for making it this far in the video. Yeah, let's text here for a sec. It went um, well than two during recording, which is pretty good. I had two or three of those were bot matches, but hey. Either way, when you're 78% with a the deck, there's something there for sure. Um, the only thing I would suggest is Dr. Doom kind of felt awkward um, because when you ramp into Doom, like if you're able to play Doom on turn five, you don't really want to fill up that that Angela lane and, and and like buff Doom with Elsa. So I feel like Magneto might be better there. This deck can go wide enough because you have a bunch of small stuff and uh, and uh, hope to get out all your small stuff very easily. So I think another tall card like Iron Man or Magneto or something would be better instead of Dr. Doom. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next video. Later, nerds. like a KFC famous bolt. So stupid.